Okay, hopefully this is everything you want to know about the Powertex uh, starter battery. Uh, this particular model is the PTL G51R, so uh, Group 51R. We use this in our uh, Honda CRV, and it uh, and it died on us. Uh, I can uh, show you what's uh, inside the battery, and more importantly, I think what's uh, not inside the battery. So what is inside is uh, what you see here is a uh, you know, uh, typical construction, uh, six uh, cells in series and four cells uh, in parallel. Uh, I looked these cells up and uh, saw that these, are, uh, these must be uh, uh, six amp hour batteries with a maximum discharge rate of 60 amps. So all together they would end up being uh, 360 amps. Uh, th those would be your cold cranking amps, but what do they say uh, on the box? 720 uh, uh, cold cranking amps. Maybe there's some sort of weird uh, stuff going on where they say, well, uh, a lead acid battery would have uh, uh, would have uh, gone down a lot, so we're going to say that this uh, is uh, double the capacity, or whatever. Uh, weird, uh, shady stuff. Um, then, what's not inside, uh, what is inside is, uh, uh, well, no, let's just, there's so little inside, it's better to just talk about uh, what's not inside. What's not inside is uh, uh, any protection. There's no uh, uh, under voltage uh, protection. If the voltage goes uh, down too low, well, then uh, the batteries are dead. Uh, if the battery uh, voltage, then there's you don't see any array of uh, of uh, MOSFETs. The only thing you see here is uh, is this tiny little uh, uh, circuit board that only contains uh, a little bit of uh, uh, balancing uh, a cell balancer, and I imagine this balances with uh, with a couple of hundred uh, milliamps. Uh, but uh, like I said, uh, there's no uh, a uh, big uh, heavy array of, uh, of fats in there that can uh, cut the power when uh, they get uh, over discharged. Uh, there's no uh, array of uh, big fat uh, fats uh, to uh, stop charging when they're being overcharged. Uh, there's nothing in place, no volt, no uh, temperature sensor to uh, cut the battery off when it's too cold to, to use, to run. Um, there is just no protection in here. The only thing uh, that's in here is a tiny little uh, cell balancer. Uh, the result, our Honda CRV. Um, if you leave the lights uh, burning, then the battery goes flat. This battery is done, uh, done over. Uh, we, uh, uh, well, if, if you leave the, the radio running, the uh, battery goes flat, uh, the battery is dead. Um, in, uh, in our case, we had a, a malfunctioning uh, brake light, uh, brake, uh, brake light switch. Uh, it left uh, the brake lights on uh, all night long, so uh, the, uh, the battery was flat. And when we uh, started, uh, jump started the car, uh, the battery just uh, didn't come to life anymore. Uh, if you leave your doors open uh, and, and the lights stay on, uh, this battery goes flat and it's dead forever. Uh, mind you, the same would happen with uh, a lead acid battery, but it wouldn't be dead forever. It, it would age fast, you would probably take 20% uh, of, uh, of its life, but you can still uh, use a lead acid battery. Not so with this. After that one little event, uh, there's uh, three cell groups that are still good, but one cell group that uh, is totally uh, blown up, it, it even uh, oozes some, uh, some liquid, uh, don't know what it is. So, these uh, batteries, for a normal user error uh, of leaving your door open, leaving the lights on, the radio on, uh, or any kind of uh, malfunction like uh, our, uh, our brake light switch, this battery dies. Normal user error, uh, it's over. Um, so, we called uh, Powertex, a great American company, uh, American Pride, and they told us, uh, well, uh, you can send it in, but if we uh, notice that it's uh, just over discharge, then it's user error and uh, you're not going to get it back. You're going to pay for uh, 
the cost to, to send it uh, to us uh, and, and we're not going to give you uh, a new battery. So this battery uh, is designed to fail because it will fail uh, because of a, a normal user error. Um, and well, the, the other part of the story is of course that this is an expensive battery. Uh, we paid 640, uh, $650 for it in December 2002, so a year and a half ago. Um, they have gone down in price, now it's $450, and I don't think they're even being sold yet. But for that price you would expect uh, to be there all sorts of uh, protection uh, in there, but no. What they did was they stripped everything out of it, they made it as simple as possible, and sold it for way too much money. Uh, I have been had, and I hope that uh, with this video uh, you, uh, you also realize that uh, don't go for uh, Powertex uh, starter batteries. Again, I don't know about their, uh, their deep cycle batteries, but if they dare to take to get away with uh, this with the starter battery, then I don't know what they're doing with their uh, deep cycle batteries uh, either. I suppose that's, uh, that should be clear. Okay, that's it. Hope it helps you.